Hi everyone and welcome to a reading for Aquarius. Wow, let's get into it. All right, a lot of petty sort of squabbling it has been keeping you up at night, Aquarius. Lots of thoughts running through your head of times of conflict or maybe when someone had something over you or vice versa. Left you in a very confused state. You're wanting to choose the right one this time, the right cup. Hey, okay? maybe this time. Maybe this time I'll choose the right cup, hey? Without, yes. Maybe this time I'll choose the right cup with good times and stability and a, a basic foundation of, of money and or of the three, which, you know, which are you going to choose here? Are you going to choose a, a feeling of just having enough? Are you going to choose a feeling of celebration and good times and friendships, but also possibly a little bit excessive, you know, maybe drinking a little too much? Are you going to choose foundation stability? Some people call that sort of like a partnership, a marriage type of card. Interesting. For the first time, I just saw two individuals in the background here and I actually saw them as arguing like a married couple arguing hmm. never saw that before these people look happy these people don't so yeah choices choices it looks like there's nothing there's no real maybe the choices aren't exactly ideal not quite ideal there's a flip side to them as as all choices you know, there's a flip side. And maybe you're really contemplating the flip side here. Well, and what's going to be right? Let's have a look. Here we go. Advice for Aquarius here. Wow. Right. Yes. Okay. So mm, definitely deciding to take the show on the road. You're moving on from this petty squabbling stuff. Maybe you're even moving on from a period of feeling like you've just, just got enough to sort of get by. You're doing okay, yeah, you're doing all right. But, it, you know, you're just, just getting by. And you're moving away from that. What is this card for? Oh, wow. Conf, you know, conflicts. You're moving away from maybe not being able to make a choice on that. You're taking your, your masculine side, the, the side that's driven and the one that's sort of gets things done out and the world's taking your feminine side and inner child away from the scenario but the conflicts are very much still on your mind and I think it occurs at night as for most of us you know when we go try to go to sleep and we've got a lot on our minds when things can keep us up so yeah you've decided you've deciding to take all this conflict and the heartache. I mean, maybe you're holding the heartache too, the three swords. You're putting down the confusion though. And maybe you are looking back at past scenarios, but that's keeping you in your head. And it's keeping you, fear, maybe even having your interactions in the daytime as being full of a little bit of conflict. So it's, you're deciding to move away from this thought process. Because their thoughts, they can be changed. Being Aquarius, very malleable with your thoughts. You can change them up. Yeah. Because you've got a choice. Focusing on maybe people that you used to know that you no longer have around you. Or those good times didn't end up so good. Or now starting to focus on working with people here that actually know you for how good you are at what you do and are actually working towards creating uh, uh, something of beauty. That's what you're choosing. You're choosing to move into that and away from these thought processes about, you know, dramas of the past. It's fabulous. Let's go. We're... Yeah, yeah, because this is giving you new love and inspiration. Not to, Your universe has said it's time. It's time. It's time to 
to stop thinking like this anymore. It's time to move past it. It's time to time to get your mojo back. Time to feel inspired again. Time to feel inspired to get back to work to to create your masterpiece here. Or to get some to work with other people here to help you create that. You may have to start from a lower you know, right right back from a lower level, but you're going to be building it up really well here because it could be three scenarios definitely here, but you, you met, you're you bossing up, okay? You, that That is a thing of the past. It just leads to heartache when you keep yourself stuck in the thoughts of all of it. It just keeps on breaking your own heart over and over and over again. You're coming to that realisation that you've got an incredible power here to decide not to break your own heart over and over again here. And it's going to take you to stand in your absolute truth here, to pull on all the energies of all the kings, whether you're masculine or feminine, to, to, to get it together, to get the show back on the road here. And that's exactly what you're achieving. Let's see, any more advice? Wow, I'm just going to take that. Yes, it's really important to, you know, to balance out your emotions in this scenario. Balance out the passions. Keep one foot on the ground, one foot in your emotions and making sure you're coming from your intuition and not from your mind that just keeps on taking you back into the mire of all the drama of the past. Okay? Less in your mind more in your intuition it's going to lead you to victory it's going to lead you to to you to be the king or queen of your world here that's it so Aquarius you're deciding and you're realizing that it is your choice to think about what you think about and the more you're thinking about all the drama and the stuff and everybody's getting hit by drama and stuff Things of the past, things are happening now. It's it's breaking your own heart over and over and over again. It's now time to choose your happiness, your own happiness. Take all those thoughts, move away from the choppy waters into calmer waters here. It's going to give you your mojo back. It's going to give you a stability back and it's going to have you feeling like you're on top of your world again. I love it. Aquarius back on top of the world. I really hope that helped. I love you all and bye for now.